Hello, friends and fellow adventurers. I've got a cat that's coming to hang out around here. Hello, kitty. I don't have any fishies, though. We're not going to be able to feed you right now. Now, since I was last playing, uh, we've done a few things here. I was working on a little house. I can't remember where I was at with the little house last time. I finished up all, you know, some details, added some cross beams, things like that. A little bit of work on the little house. Um, I think since I was last playing, I know... Uh, Zane was playing a lot more with uh, automation and stuff. And then I started playing around with automation and stuff. And so in monkeying about with the bot, uh, ended up building a large bridge over here. Just put a bunch of cobble in the uh, the task bar and said, go tunnel. And so this thing went over this way. And I knew there was uh, a big structure over here, but I wasn't sure how close it was. So we built along here. We built past where, you know, we had our original little farm going on over here. There's a bubblegum wall over there now. Um, everybody's welcome to just dump blocks. That, that's, uh, I think, one of Zane's projects. And there is also a pillager outpost over here, which they're not very nice. I don't like them. They're not my friends. But next, more importantly, uh, what else do we have here? I think right here, there we, there's, uh, so, oh, there's a couple now, netherrack structures. Um, Scooby has a, a house over there. There is this mammoth, and it is mammoth. I think it goes like 200 blocks high, a uh, mountain. And it's really cool. Um, and I thought, you know what, this would make for some really interesting build. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this yet, but let's go take a look at the view. I haven't seen the view from up here. When I was using, uh, I was working again through the other client um, what I found is that the, uh, it doesn't load in. I couldn't load in a lot of chunks or a lot of data. Uh, other, otherwise the thing kind of choked out, um, very quickly. It just ran, uh, it got very laggy. So, uh, I haven't seen really what the view looks like just from normal building. <laughs> I love it. We had cloud level in our staircase. So I, I went back and forth and zipped around, and then I, I popped out here, and I was like, whoa, okay. And then we've got a little bit more to go. So I then just thought, okay, let's just try and build the staircase up here. I mean, the view is already absurd, right? Like, it's I, I didn't realize you're going to hit uh, clouds in the staircase. So then we've got another little staircase here. Now, I've got quite a lot of material now, because I also set uh, my player auto mining uh, um, quite a lot of cobble just because. So we'll see how that, uh, I, I'll put stairs in, I think, all the way up here. I don't know what I want to build up here necessarily. Um, I mean, this is, with stairs, this would, I, wow, the, it is a view. With stairs, it wouldn't be too bad to get uh, all the way up here. <laughs> but this is something. It, this is, and this tree right here, I, I ended up burrowing right through the base of a tree. I like this tree plonked in the top of this whole thing this is a remarkable uh view so i'm glad at least some of it does load in that's nice so i don't even know what structure that is down there is that the is that a village so you can see our long route back over here to the other place the cross road i like all that you can really see the biome shift there's scooby's uh little settlement there so I don't know what I want to do. I definitely do want to build something here, though, because this is pretty phenomenal. Um, I don't know if it'll just be like some curious little outpost or what, but I do feel like I could almost build, you know, as I was attempting to do before, a bit of a sky village. I feel like I could build a little bit of a sky village off of this, and we could come out and around this this whole area. Uh, there, because we have the multiple tiers, I feel like that might be a nice way to do it. Um, especially down on this other platform. There's not a lot of real estate up top there, but that's a nice place to make a little crow's nest and just have a nice view, get up to the top and really take, a, take it all in. Around here, though, this is quite nice. There's some pumpkins growing here. I haven't really checked all this. Oh, wow. What the heck is... I don't even know. It's hard to even tell... Like, I'm like, what is loading in properly? I don't even know. Is that another? 
that is an, another thing. I would well clearly build over to that. Oh my goodness. And this is all at cloud level. That's quite nice. So this, <laughs> this opened up a whole thing. I was like, this is a really nice little area to do some building in. Yeah, oh yeah, this is great. I mean, look at that. We can basically come right off of here, right over to there. Do I have any? I don't even have any cobble. Huh, I really like that. That's quite cool. All right, I'll stop gushing about that. I think I'm going to head back now. So, and then there, there is down here as well. That just kind of tr freaks me out running through the clouds. I feel like I'm about to jump off into nothing or that it's like an error that something's not loading in. So we've got this here as well. This is, I think, originally where... Uh, did I... No, this is just a weird area. I don't I don't even know what this is. Okay, can we easily get There we go. Oh, that's not bad. So this is uh, like quite low. Still a nice view. So that must be the structure over there. It's kind of obscene. Obscenely high. Um and What do we have over this way? This is just the pillagers comes around over that way. Now, this is back where we were before. Oh no, that's the other way. Okay, so that's right. I punched through here and this is where we came out and that's the other, the, the other uh, mountain there. Yeah, I think we could build between these two. That makes total sense. Um, and we've got, there's a nice environment around here. I don't know what else I want to do. Definitely, I want to connect all of these areas. Um, I, I like them all. I like a lot of what's going on here. I like the different options and the different kind of environments. I like getting shot at by skeletons and stuff in here. This is a, a really cool um, a little area as well. It would be nice to in, actually enclose this in. These pillagers, I, I I know, I think other people want to keep the pillagers. I'm not going to destroy them. I'm not going to do anything. I think uh, other people have plans for the pillagers. I don't know if somebody was talking about enclose, encasing this whole thing in glass or something. They're a bit of a pain. I don't think they can hit me up here. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to head back over this way. Now, I didn't, that structure to the left there is quite nice. I hadn't seen that one before. So somebody's got a base going on down there. Why don't we go take a look? All right. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this goes, I'm assuming this goes down the little highway. I love seeing people's little farms. And I always feel like whenever I look at other people's builds, I feel like Everybody's really creative. I love seeing all of the different types of things people can, like. I like the nice choice of uh, multiple uses of wood. Yeah, it's a very, very nice little farm. Oh boy. I, I don't want to snoop. Oh, I like that. That's quite, that's very cute. Yeah, I, do, I could use some of those. those. That looks really good. Gets the job done. That's all. What's going on here? I don't even know. Oh, is that, does that, oh, oh, oh I don't even want to know. Okay. I think I know, I might know whose area this is. <laughs> the villager is a guest that's staying there at the moment. I'm just going to believe that. All right, and then we're just back over here. I guess we'll go up. All right. And then the bubblegum wall is looking good. At any rate, I wanted to do a little bit of a tour here of, uh, I think what I'm gonna work on in the next little bit. I had a couple of different ambitions. My first one, before I kind of got playing around, I got distracted by automation. That's quite a lot of fun to play with. Um, the thought was what I wanted to do with the, uh, 
I always get confused. I look at that mountain on the left, and I always think that's the one I'm heading to. It is not. Pretty close. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. No, it's all connected. It is. It's bigger than I think it is. This is a nice little mountain. I want to, A, I'm going to run a little train between the two. I think we're going to have to do that just to speed things up to head over to the other area. I do still, I like that this is so coastal. I, I really do actually like where they've built over here. Uh, that's quite a nice little area. Um, I get very torn when I, when I, the more I explore, that's why I don't tend to explore too much on servers. Cause I, I'm like, ah, I'm going to want to build everywhere because everywhere looks good. So we've got this little base of operations here, which is nice because it's nice and close to spawn. And I do tend to like to build something that's, you know, right near spawn. But I like that this is like an ocean. This has this whole ocean access going on. Um, I did build a little, uh, a little staircase down. Just so we could have a nice, I was thinking of ocean access. I thought, okay, let's build a nice little, a little area down here and maybe start building a boat launch and some stuff out this way. Uh, get working with the, the boardwalk thing there. I did build a little bit of, um, I just got kind of, I, I, I thought, well, you know what I'd like to do? Uh, well, I auto mined all the trees off of this, of the acacia trees at least, but I also just, I was working on this. So the area I had been talking about previously, I think of making more of like a castle keep kind of entrance. I sort of did that. I sort of got working on that. So we've got that access down to here as well. Then the other thing I was sort of thinking was capping around the edge of the mountain with the bricks like this. I don't recall if I was at, I can't remember what I had been talking about, what I had worked on yet, because I put a bunch of work in. Hey, kitty. The, the kitty's going to be scared off by my loud eating. I was thinking of going about, I don't know, like here-ish, and just building uh, this level all the way around the whole thing using the uh, the bricks and basically making it kind of like uh, more for the aesthetic of it than anything. Um, let's see. Oh, no, and I don't want you. Just for the uh, the look of it, to make it kind of like give it this fortress appearance. I don't know if that is what I want to do or not. I do know it'll take a fair amount of resources, but I, I'm no, you know, that's not a thing that uh, concerns me. So let's just take a look. I'm, I want to just give it a little, a uh, little bit of a look and see how this would come out. So it would be pretty easy, I guess, to do this kind of a thing, and I would definitely have to do some. I'd guess some backfilling if we wanted to really get the uh, the full look. Or not. It could just be that I have kind of like a... you got to keep sort of look here. Now this might not be as intensive as I was thinking it would be. And I guess what I could always do is I could even take it up another brick high and have it more like our sort of battlements. I could, or I could stagger that. So how does this look from the uh, from this way? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. That is basically what I was hoping for look-wise. Yeah, I think we'll do it. I think we're just going to... Let's run ahead with this a little bit and see what we can get going. I do have a fair amount of stone uh, brick. I'm not going to get that far with it. Not at three, three to go. we go. Whoa. Oh, is that? Oh, I, you know what? I should have gone down. I think I should have gone down here if I really want to make it a little bit more. Or just dug that out, I guess.
Depends how dramatic we want to get with it. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do that. Let's go and take a look at the other side. I will at least have, uh, let's see here. We can probably, again, I'm not going to have enough to get all the way around right now. But if I continue like this, we can probably get quite a ways. I do like this, working on the angle like this, it, you get away with, uh, it looks cool, but you don't actually have to use that much resources. And it does hide all the grass behind it, so that's a bonus as well. Okay, yeah, let's do that. See, I, yeah, and I don't need this one because it is hidden. I gotta think a little bit more uh, wisely on how to, use, how to do this with the least resources. So I think, again, I would like, I'm on a connection between this one and the other one. And then I went one more high, didn't I? Or is that it? Oh no, it's only, okay, because the other ones were, okay, that's fine. <laughs> the weeds get in the way. Thank you, weeds. All right, let's throw these other ones in. Here we go. We'll keep going on this side then. There we are. And then the question is whether, yeah, we'll go that way. I guess we'll keep at this level. They might keep the, uh, the amount of stone used to a minimum. The idea is just mostly to impede progress. Because I didn't know, I found we had villagers going up here already. Thinking, oh, well, let's keep them away a little bit. Is that a traitor? No, it's a duck. And again, it's mostly about the look more than anything. Definitely we had, I, I turned, uh, it's in perpetual daytime at the moment. Um, I found mob spawning was, I the server is not set to hardcore mode, but uh, we definitely found the, the mob spawning on it was sp pretty absurd. It was like, yeah, it was ridiculous. There's a certain point at which you, mobs are just not fun. You're like, nah, it's kind of impeding my ability to do anything else. Well, okay, that's not bad. Wow, we got, uh, let's go grab some more. That, we, that used less resources than I anticipated. I thought for sure I'd be out, like, immediately. I think doing the, uh, that my little, um, my little tunnel there used up more probably. So the goal was to kind of build this up. I'd like to build a few other little structures here. I think I'd like to build a little blacksmith shop or a few things like that. Uh, using the auto mine though to get cobble is is very helpful. I don't feel bad. There's some things where you're like, I don't want to just you know cheat on my mining. Uh, like I don't, I didn't go and get diamonds. I didn't go and get resources that I couldn't see, but I, I did use it. I just said, you know, um, oh, no, 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 no. We want that to say, go and grab, uh, if you want to go and get a bunch of stone, set the, your, um, personal mining assistant, set yourself to go and just, uh, mine in a row, say tunnel, give it a command, let it go. And, you know, just kind of keep an eye on it, but let it just sort of go straight. I don't have an issue doing that. I don't find that that's like to me um, kind of cheating or anything. It's like being lazy, I guess, but really 
I don't know. I don't have an issue with that. But whereas going and saying, telling uh, the uh, automation to go and find diamonds or things, that that to me would be, I wouldn't want to do that. That would kind of wreck the game to me a little bit. But it, I think those helpful things, it helps you, uh, makes, the, the thought of going and getting a whole pile of cobble to me is so tedious <laughs> at this point. Some days I'm into it, sometimes I'm not. So if it helps get me between episodes where I can just get building like this, uh, that's kind of the important part. Because I'd rather spend more time building um, than collecting cobble. I think that's it's not fun to do cobble episodes. We've done some, just more a matter of course than anything. Are we getting actual nighttime or is this just weather? It seems like bad weather. Cause it didn't. I, it doesn't look like a sunset. Yeah, it's just a storm coming in. Wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, we got some unfriendlies coming. Well, I guess our wall will come into some use now. I'll see if anybody tries to push me off or not. Let's see how many baddies spawn up here because I don't think I've done a very good job of uh, even bothering to put in any uh, lighting or anything. Uh, this is a long run of, uh, there we go, back to angles. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to go with this all. I think, again, I, I want to get a few of these projects done. I want I want to get this actually built, because I, I like getting things actually finished. I like planning, but at a certain point I'm like, okay, I, I just want to now build. I just want to get these builds finished. Now this, oh, you know what? I should probably. We're gonna do that. We're gonna build around the edge here, because this is still this little area could be actually kind of useful. Um. Yeah, let's do this. We'll build around the uh, perimeter here. I should have thought about this before. Oh. Why do planning? Why plan? This is why we plan. So we don't end up with too much of this. We'll build right around the tree. You can stay. There we go. What was that? Now I got my back up. It's not phantoms, is it? It is. Oh, I do I need to go and sleep? Problem is it's never nighttime, so Oh, I don't know. Am I losing my mind now? Oh, wow. Hey, how about you don't do that? Okay, well, let's go and... Maybe I had to do a server reset recently, so I'm wondering if maybe I had to go to sleep. Well, that would be weird. They really plow you in the back. You're like, uh, excuse me, I'd like to not be knocked off the ledge. Yeah, this this ledge definitely could go up another layer. Well, that's good. I think that'll be, uh, this is not nighttime, so, yeah. And during thunderstorms. Oh, I could have slept during the thunderstorm. So is the phantom going to go away now? Oh, yeah, it's burning up. Oh, I didn't think about that. We could have slept. Huh. Didn't even pay attention to that, the actual warning. Sorry, chicken. 
Okay, come here, Phantom. So that's good. So that, because we were actually thinking about that, I was like, can you get Phantom Membranes now that we've got Perpetual Day? I guess we can. And I'm also wondering then if uh, slimes spawn in uh, Thunderstorms as well. That's a good question. I don't know. At any rate, I think we'll take a break there. Next time we come back, I'll probably keep noodling away with this a little bit, or we'll, I don't know, we'll see where we're at. Um, might get building out more. Maybe we'll work on some other structures or something. Yeah, we're getting there. And that actually will keep the animals penned in a little bit too. But we'll turn this into a proper little a, a little keep. And then we'll have a nice route over to the other main, uh, I, I don't know, that sky tower. We'll see what they were going to do with that. Something cool, hopefully. And then hopefully down to the sea. So I, I'm kind of hoping to have this whole sort of like um, network of sort of fortresses kind of thing going on. That's kind of where I envision going with it. At any rate, we'll see if we get there. See you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.